Have I ever told you about my son? Remarkable boy. Quite smart. But he was born in a robot factory in the Solana galaxy. But to be precise, he was created much farther away. My son's name is XJ0461, but the universe knows him as Clank. The Zoni are inquiring about our progress. Ah, how much longer must we pretend to be friends with those twits? Sire does not remember. You must fix. Yes, I'm fixing. I'm fixing. Stand by for sister board scan. Alright, let's see. Favorite colors green, favorite numbers 83 billion and 4.7. Blah, blah, blah. Access denied. Neural safeguard activated. No! No! Oh, locked out again! It's in here, Lawrence. Somewhere in this brain lies the key to the Orvis chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Your zoniness. If we could take but a peek at the chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Chamber is for sire only. Very well. Then I think it's time our partnership came to an end. Say hello to... Not the hypersonic brainwave scrambler. The hypersonic brainwave scrambler! <laughs> Apologies, sir. I should have mentioned the equipment is especially susceptible to sonic weaponry. Backup generator activated. He's awake! Stop him! Nefarious. I should have known you were behind this. Where have you taken me? You don't recognize it? This is your home! The Great Clock! A marvel of science and sorcery, engineered by the brightest Sony in all of existence, and constructed in the exact center of the universe! Give or take 50 feet. I am curious. What lie did you tell the Zoni in your quest for vengeance? Vengeance? You think I went to all this trouble for mere vengeance? They say I'm egomaniacal. Let's just say it's all in the past. Lawrence! Right here, sir. Ready the orb of gratuitous immobilization. <laughs> Shall I prepare the mnemonic station again? No. I have a better idea. But, sir... Patience, Lawrence. We have all the time in the universe. It's huge. So huge, in fact, that if you lost your car keys in it, they would be almost impossible to find. Luckily for Ratchet, Captain Copernicus L. Quark was on the case. His mission, rescue the Lombax's one and only friend. Yep, without Clank, Ratchet was alone in the universe. Alone. 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 You realize this ship has an ejector seat, right? Sorry. I guess you could say I've been a little antsy in my pantsy at the thought of getting back into the hero business. <laughs> yep. 
These wild stallions have been in the stable too long. Right. Look, just keep your eyes peeled. Talon says this sector's crawling with mercenaries. Rest easy, my friend. My vigilance is both eternal and peripheral. Warning. Warning. Unidentified anomaly detected. Hang on. Shifting to evasive maneuvers. We're gonna die! We're gonna die! Oh, good thing I'm wearing clean underwear! Will you shut up? We are not gonna die! Affiliate! Engage gravimetric stabilizers! Negative. Stabilizers offline. Thrusters offline. Landing flaps offline. Alright. So, we're gonna die. No! Much for clean underwear. Where the heck are we? Beats me. Perhaps a leisurely stroll through this uncharted jungle will solve the mystery. Whoa! Quark, are you seeing this? Something is seriously wrong with this planet. Uh, it's like time is all not working. Oh, help! Help! Please! Please help me! My children! They're in danger! What seems to be the problem, citizen? Siphoid. We were fishing up the river when they attacked. Quark, stay here. I'll go save the children. Wow! Thanks, mister! Wow! Are you a real Lombax? Thanks, kitty! Anessa, what are you doing out here? The Xyphoids are back. There must be something wrong with the Timekeeper. Not in front of the Outsiders. Quickly, we must head into the village. Your starship is not beyond repair. But fixing it will take powers beyond anything this universe has ever seen. Powers not to be taken lightly. Can you keep a secret? Well... The Zoni are powerful creatures, capable of almost anything, Mal. But they are also hive minds, and must be kept together for their energy to work. Inside is a vessel, which will allow you to rescue lost Zoni, and harness their bioenergy. Follow me, and don't touch anything. Whoa! Quark, there are two Zoni in here. Quark, you ready to let those stallions out of the stable? I was born ready. Ah! I believe Dr. Nefarious was clear as to the repercussions of leaving your hovel. The clock is ours. Whoa, uh, wait. Who? Dr. Nefarious has no authority here, villain. In fact, I'm not even entirely convinced he's a real doctor. So return my sidekick's pal before I bring the thunder. You win again, technology! Kill the exile and bring the rest in for question. We're too late! Vorsalon is leaving! Quark, come in. Do you read me? It's good to hear your voice, Ratchet. They've got us in these containment cells, and they're coming with food. Oh, thank heaven, they're coming with... Tap water? You animals! Would you just listen to me? I need you to activate the nav beacon on your belt. Can you do that? Good. Now hang tight. I'm on my way. It's 
Ghost, the Green One's sidekick! We're saved! I knew you'd come for us. It's good to see you, Ratchet. Now we need to find a way out. What's your name? The child. Hurl yourself into this laser wall as hard as you can. Hey, mister. What about the Versafuse? If you pull it out, it might lower the field. I'll open the doors. You get the Fongoids to safety. Okay, anybody need to use the bathroom? I don't want to leave the loading bay and then here one of you has to go. Loading bay doors are open. Launching escape vessel in three, two, one. Pitiful creature, you've meddled in Dr. Nathurius's plans for the last time. Prepare to be killed by... Wait for it... The Lord of Orzalan! <laughs> who assisted me in my escape from Nefarious. What is your name? My name? Um, yes, of course. Sigma 0426A. Uh, but you can call me Sigmund. I'm junior caretaker here at the Great Clock. Forgive me, but what is the Great Clock? Oh dear! We're late! Come! We don't have a lot of time! Uh, figuratively speaking, of course. While you were unconscious, I took the liberty of installing a quantum actuator into your circuitry. It allows you to create multiple selves. Multiple selves? How else would we get anything done around here? It, just record your actions using the time pads and initiate them while the present you moves on to do other things. Time pads can be a little tricky. Let me show you how they work. First, stand on the time pad. Then, initiate temporal recording. Now I'll just open the door and end temporal recording. Now when I start recording on the second pad... Look sir, that's me! Now all I have to do is wait for me to open the door for myself! <laughs> Ta-da! Now I can get through the door. Pretty sweet, huh? Go ahead sir, give it a try. Time pads will also let you record over your past selves. That way you can do everything they did and more. First, initiate recording and open that chamber door. Then, while the chamber is open, end recording. Next, we'll start recording on the second time pad. When your past self opens the chamber, step inside and open the door. Now, end recording. Okay, here's the tricky part. Since the past self holding the door open is inside the chamber, you'll have to re-record over your other self in order to exit. Open the chamber to let your past self in. Then, when he opens the exit, you're free to go. Give it a try, sir. Hello, XJ0461, and welcome to your subconscious. I am Orvis, and I've been anticipating your return for quite some time. I do not understand. Have I been here before? <laughs> you didn't think your soul came from a robot factory, did you? I created you! 
Oh, you must have a lot of questions. But first, I have a present for you. From time to time, various creatures find their way into the clock. A good caretaker protects the equipment at all costs. Yes, but what does the equipment do? All in good time, my son. Now, think of someone you wouldn't mind bonking on the head. Perhaps a buffoon who has made life difficult for you in the past? Hmm. <laughs> Wonderful! Hey, but you can do better than that. Good form, my son. Now, do as the kids say and lay the smack down. You've done wonderfully, my son. I know you're going to take good care of this place. But where will you be? This is your facility. No, my dear boy. It's your facility. The great clock and everything in it, I now leave to you. Watch over it and protect it. Fulfill your destiny, XJ0461. Program terminated. Warning, unauthorized sonic device on approach. Sir, watch out! It's the hypersonic brainwave scrambler! Warning, unauthorized sonic device in Sector 3. You think you could show me how to fight like that one day? Let's try this! Night of the Living Squishies, Act 3, Scene 4. Ready on set? I should never have quit dental school. And action! You'll never take me alive, Quack. Time is under my control! Oh, am I interrupting? Lawrence! I'm rehearsing my epic romantic action comedy, Space Opera! Silly me, sir. I just thought it prudent to tell you Clank is en route to the Orvis chamber, sir. <laughs> Splendid! The moment we've been waiting for is now. Now, if there's nothing else to discuss. There is one small matter. <laughs> I don't have the capacity for love, Janice. I was cursed by a tribe of gypsy ninjas when I was a kid. I know, Lance. I was in that tribe of gypsy ninjas. Ah! They cannot be allowed to meddle in our plans! Track them down and annihilate them! Very good, sir. In the meantime, might I suggest engaging the safety so as not to kill any more troops? It's not even loaded, you moron! Look! <laughs> Next! Halt, outsider! What business? Have you in the hollow? I'm looking for Volgrim Pass. Mm, Volgrim Pass. Where the exile dwells. It is beyond this hollow. But we do not grant entrance to outsiders. They must find it for themselves. Welcome, outsider. I apologize for the ruse, but we like to keep our operation away from the prying eyes of galactic authorities. Come, you have proven yourself worthy. The battery butts are revolting. All systems are off running. Oh, call the home office. Tell them we have a code 11 13. Back to the online.
Excuse me, uh, hi. Do you know where I can find Alistair Azimuth? Son. Forgive me, General Alistair Azimuth, Thorbolt Magistrate of the Lombax Praetorian Guard, Elder Councilman for the Center for Advanced Lombax Research, and you, my dear boy, look just like your father. I have so many questions. How did you know him? Caden and I were good friends. He was a great Lombax, smart as they come. He was the first outsider to theorize that the Great Clock even existed. And this clock? You think Clank's in there? Clock is a rather crude translation of the runes on Quantos. Specifically, they say Keeper of Time. But yes, I suspect he is. You see, according to Fungoid lore, the Zoni are the guardians of time. If your friend is connected to them, he must play some part in its operation. Where are those blasted things? Wait, I thought my father was the only one to stay behind when the Lombaxes left. Why didn't you go with them? Sometimes the universe has a cruel sense of humor. Ah, here they are. Your father's hover boots. Ready for your first lesson? If you're going to stop Nefarious, you're going to have to learn how to outmaneuver him. Used properly, these hover boots will give you exactly the edge you need. Now, back straight, legs bent slightly at the knee, and engage. Well, looks like you've got the basics down. Now, let's try something a bit more challenging, like this hover boot course. Well done. You're a faster learner than your father. I have one final test set up over there. Are you ready? All right. Follow me. And now for your final exam. We'll test your speed as well as your skill. You must complete the course and grab every flare along the way in under a minute. If you succeed, I may just let you keep those hover boots. Ion coils might be a bit rusty. <clears throat> You'll get used to them. Thanks. So what now? Storm Nefarious' stronghold? Force him to tell us where the clock is, huh? Nefarious would be foolish to reveal that information to us, no matter what we do to him. But we have an advantage I did not have before. A contact inside the clock. Clank? How are we gonna talk to him? General? My ship's this way? No thanks. I brought my own. Meet me in Axiom City, Planet Tarachnos! What are we looking for in Axiom City? A way to talk to Clay! Another Lombax. Come back to vandalize more equipment? Mind your manners. Any super intelligent being can see that this is a different Lombax. My colleague is just upset about the rebel Azimuth destroying the terminal. The firefight triggered Axiom's defensive grid, and now the entire city's closed off. Maybe you can help. What's he gonna do? Fly over the grid and activate the reboot switches? Ah! I'd love to see that. You did it! The system is resetting! Alert! Alert! Lombax detected near Avionics Terminal 9. Dispatching units. I could get into a lot of trouble for this, but I'm tired of Nefarious and his troops. Let's see if I can activate this transport tube now that the lockdown's over. Here you go! 
This ought to take you right to Nurox Plaza. Transport 2 activated. I'm here to cash in on that favor, Jarvis. We need a way inside Pollux Industries. I knew one day you'd make me an accomplice to terrorism! I'll run a diagnostic on the security system. In the meantime, you better take cover. Another security team is closing in. What we have to do is ionize the hologram's power conduit. That should give your hover boots enough thrust to send you into the maintenance hatch. Sounds simple enough. Exactly. It'll take all three of us. I'm activating the transport ramps to the west side of the plaza. Head there now and await further instructions. I'm going to perform a remote unlock of all the power switches in this plaza. That should enable you to activate them and ionize the hologram conduit. Usually I have Clank to translate stuff like this. Can you say that again in non-geek speak? When the general lowers the defense grid, you just activate all the switches I send to you. Got it. Lowering defense grid. Now! Okay, I'm in. Linking power switches to your nav unit now. You did it! Conduit is ionized. You should be able to slingshot over the plaza and into Pollux Industries. Good work, Ratchet. This is it. Our only way into the building. Last chance to back out. Age before beauty, General. <laughs> Wise guy, just like your father. You made it! Come on! The main office is this way. Attention, a bioscan reveals two Lombaxes in main server room. Mobilizing all units. Blasted bioscans. You take the left, I'll cover the right. You know, I am a level 60 wizard with melee ability. <laughs> that hurt my pride and my solar plexus. Looks like there's an obsidian eye somewhere in Krill Canyon. I can't lock on any closer. Greetings, my old friend. Been a long time. I'm thrilled you're here to witness my greatest triumph. And look. You've met the Elder. Pity the first Lombax you meet is the shame of his entire race! So what is it this time, Nefarious? He's still trying to turn everyone into robots? Or is it just good old-fashioned galactic domination? Part of me wants to let you live long enough to find out. The other part really wants to kill you. You know, for old time's sake. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Attention, VX-99 detected. Evacuate all stations. Well, at least we know what he went with. That thing will level the entire city just to get to us. Come on, we have to take it out. I'll cover you from the air. You just find a way to stall it. Stall it? It's the size of a building! How do I get myself into these situations? You did it! Now come on! Latch onto my ship! When that turret explodes, it'll rupture the entire core! procedure will require approximately 183 paradoxes. 84 if the blog participate. Uh, sir, might I suggest we allow the terachnoids to examine the chamber before testing the machine? That's the matter, Lawrence! Chicken? Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> Whoopsie, sir. Butterfingers. I just learned that the Lombaxes have destroyed the VX-99. Our sentries are searching for their vessel's signature as we speak. Unacceptable! 
I practically handed those squishies to you on a silver platter! How could you be so utterly incompetent? I'll leave you two alone. If Ratchet or the Elder find the clock, our plans will be ruined! Your body will remain crushed and abandoned on Zorik. Is that what you want? I'm bringing in specialists! Cassiopeia! Well, hello there. Karina! Bonjour. And Libra. Hey, how you doing? Valkyries! Decades ago, your colony was atomized in the era of a supernova. How would you like to have it back? Yes, one hypersonic brainwave scrambler scrambled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was cool. Take a seat, sir. Orientation video is about to start. Dun da da da! Orvis Industries presents The Great Clock and You with your host. Orvis! Hello! And... Uh, oh, is it on? Uh, Sigmund? Uh, the light is blinking. Uh, should it be blinking? No. Uh, hold on, sir. Okay. Try now. Hello! And welcome to the Great Clock. You're here because you've been selected to join our team. And we couldn't be happier to have you. We have a lot to discuss, but first, let's take a look at what the Great Clock is. Eons ago, our kind entrusted the Fongoids with a special gift. The gift of time travel. We had hoped it would enrich their lives as it did ours, but uh, unfortunately... They lost it up! Uh, Sigmund, <clears throat> let's just say they were overzealous in its use. After only 3,000 short years, the Fongoid's use of time travel wore the space-time continuum thin. Paradoxes stacked on top of paradoxes, conundrums on top of conundrums, until one day, a tiny rift in the continuum destroyed 83 celestial entities. Existence, it seemed, was at an end. If the universe was to survive, it would need a heart transplant. So, I designed a special gift to repair the damage. The Great Clock. Built in the exact center of the universe, give or take 50 feet, the clock would repair the rift and restore temporal normality to the universe. And that, my son, is where you come in. There are only two rules concerning the operation of the Great Clock. Number one, under no circumstances is it to be used as a time machine. The clock is not meant to alter time, only to keep it. Number two, should you find yourself wanting to use the clock as a time machine, consult rule number one. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sigmund? Because rule number one, you see, says don't do it. <laughs> Brilliant, sir. All right, all right. Uh, let's go have some tea. Incredible. The great clock is responsible for temporal stability across the universe? Now you know why Orvis kept it such a secret. Without this station, the universe would just collapse on itself. Hello, XJ0461. It's good to see you again. And now, it's time for your most important lesson. I am very proud of you, XJ0461. And now, you're ready for the task ahead. Go forth and fix time, save the universe. When you're ready, my chamber will be waiting. Program terminated.
Accessing archives. Hello, Sigmund. I just wanted to let you know I will be traveling to the Tombly outpost on Xanafar and will not be back until morning. A fellow scientist has requested an audience with me, and etiquette dictates I comply. Don't go, sir. Mind the clock while I'm gone. Uh, wind the time cleaners and, uh, Sigmund, uh, let's just keep this our little secret. As the kids say, BRB. <laughs> Please don't go. End recording. It's dangerous. Warning. Warning. Hostile ships detected. Well, well, well. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, looks like this long box is lost. What do you say, girls? Shall we help him find his way? Cassie, we picked up a signature 3,000 kilocubits north of Orak Minor. It's a Lombax ship. Hmm, General Asimov. The, the bounty's up to two million bolts on him. Libra, be a good girl and take care of our friend. We'll kill the Elder. Ratchet, I knew you could do it. Come on, get back up here and let's find that eye. Hold up. See that nest over there? Tetramites. Stay close and whatever happens, do not let them touch you. What happens if they do? Let's just say they can digest anything. Now remember, tetramites hate water. If we can get to the other side of that creek, we'll be fine. Let's move. What did I tell you? A leap of faith! General! Will you just stop for a second? I want to know what happened. <laughs> questions, questions. You ask all these questions. Ask yourself this. How relevant is the past when it can be changed? Your father would have said not very. That's him. And you still haven't given me a straight answer. Now why aren't you with the Lombaxes? Because I failed them! After the Great War, Polaris was a dangerous place. Even with the Kragmites gone, I knew steps needed to be taken to protect the galaxy. One day, we were approached by an inventor with incredible ideas, technology light years beyond what we were using. The inventor was someone... someone your father warned me not to trust. Our kind had grown suspicious of him, but I was convinced this was the right thing to do. For the galaxy, I granted him full access to our technology, all of our secrets. Only when he was finished. They took refuge in the court, but your father refused. He would never have left your mother. But when he made it back, she... She was already gone. I don't know how long he survived before Tachyon caught up with him, but I know I was responsible for his death. For my crimes? I was forbidden from joining the Lombaxes, and so, I live in exile. I can make it right, Ratchet. All of it. I... We can fix it. With the clock under our control, it'll be like none of this ever happened. Stay with me, and I promise I'll get your family back. <laughs> We have no time for petty squabbles. Ratchet, remember the mission. The Obsidian Eye is all that matters. The Eye? It's in a temple. I can take you there. Please, we are not an aggressive race. Help us defeat the Agorians and I'll show you where it is. Tanks 
going in over the ridge. We're gonna need some heavier firepower. Wait here. I'll cover you from the sky. Bowling's are inbound, Commander. Enter attack formation and destroy the rebels. Outsider, I'm activating our defensive station. It's fully charged and ready for combat. We must regroup. Fall back to the hero on the base. Good work, Ratchet. We did it. I'm setting you down. Woohoo! <laughs> Soaker will ward off the Tetramites. You two all right in there? Looks like the door rusted right off its track. I'll try to get it fixed, but then um, uh, it might be a while. Try breathing real shallow like. Well, you did it, Ratchet. Well done. Come on, the Obsidian Eyes right this way. Fulcrum star is cracked. We may not be able to get a signal. Stand by for system uplink. Clank! Ratchet, how did you find me? Are you kidding me? You think I'd leave my best pal out here alone? Who is that behind you? Is that a Lombax? Yeah, this is General Azimuth. He's been helping me look for you. Just send me your coordinates and we'll pick you up. Signal integrity, 33%. Ratchet, I need your help. Orvis is in trouble. You must go to Xanathar and confront Dr. Nefarious. Xanathar? Dr. Nefarious hasn't set foot on that rock since his station was completed two years ago. Then that is when you must confront him. Head to the Tomley outpost and look for a time portal. Please, save my father. Father? What's going on? <laughs> you cannot hide in the broom closet forever, Sigmund. Orvis needs our help. Now, can you synthesize a time portal on Xanathar? I suppose I could use the oscilloscopic entanglement modulator to create a vacuum of negative energy, theoretically creating a traversable wormhole. Time rift stabilized. Ta-da! Good work in there, Ratchet. I'll meet you on planet Xanathar. Ratchet, there's something I haven't told you about the clock. If we succeed, if we turn back time and stop Tachyon, the present as you know it will no longer exist. You mean I won't remember Clank? I mean, you will never have met him in the first place. The clock may offer some kind of temporal immunity for those who use it, but there are no guarantees. If this is my only chance to save my family, I have to take it. Good. Now don't be alarmed, but I just picked up Forcelon's signature not far from our location. I'll distract him while you head to the outpost. And remember, if Orvis is alive, it's imperative that you get the clock's location from him. Good luck. Welcome, welcome, welcome to open fight night at the Battle Points. You like to fight? You like to mix it up? You look like a mixer-upper. What's your name, Spook? I'm Ratchet. <laughs> That's a silly name. What? You folks lose a bet? Kidding! I'm Mac. You have to excuse the hologram. Folks around here have a tendency to throw things. Take a look around. If you need anything, Max, your guy. <laughs> How about that, folks? Another amazing victory! Now, how about we give this Lumbax a little backup? Alright! Please welcome, all the way from the Solana Galaxy, Mr. Copernicus Quark! It's Captain Quark. I didn't take a three-week hero correspondence course to be called Mr. <laughs> Easy on the goods, pal. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for the Wargrok! Out of here, Ratchet. 
captive. While I was in captivity, I trained with the elite Umbuku gladiators of Terraclan 6. My body is in peak physical condition. My sense as sharp as Trillium Razor. Release the War Drac! Understand your proud warrior ways. The Nabla tribesmen of Florana once referred to me as or he with mighty pecs who had delivered us serenity. But we cannot kill this creature. You must kill the Wardrock or die! Quark! <laughs> this thing's trying to eat me! This Lombax is young. He does not understand that being a hero is 45% strength, 60% bravery, and 10% raw intelligence. That's 115%! You're welcome. Please, take me instead. All that I ask is that you name something impressive in my honor. Perhaps a school, or a food court. You are? I'm gonna need you, Snowball! You've gotta be kidding me. I ho Snowball! Away! Swell job, kid! Swell job! I just cleaned up thanks to you! Time for old Mac to make good on his promise! I won this security card off of the various trooper. <laughs> Maybe you can find a use for it. Please, Orbis, a Lombax! Have you come to rescue us? Uh, what happened here? Dr. Nefarious, he tricked us into helping him build this outpost, and before we knew it, his troops were herding us into detainment camps. Uh, they're controlled by that guard tower up there. Please, help us. You scared me! I thought you were one of the troops. They've been searching for me ever since I escaped the detainment camp. I need to get back to my hut before they close in. Can you help me get through the ivy? Primary containment generator disabled. Hey! We're free! Praise Orbis! We're saved! <laughs> Are you here to help build Dr. Nefarious's outpost? <laughs> we were about to build the bridge, but the winch crank rusted up. Nothing we can do. Not for a while. <laughs> we'll just have to wait for them to finish building the oil derrick so we can fix it. Praise Nefarious! What can I do for you this fine day? I was planting some vines when suddenly I felt the urge to stop and help our visitor build his new home. Have you met Dr. Nefarious yet? <laughs> He's great and wonderful. <laughs> Glad to help. I know more about horticulture than any fungoid on Xenophar. First, you need to scoop up a seed. Then, find a nice patch of soil. Then you just plant it, nice and deep. In a few years, you'll have a nice, healthy vine. <laughs> There are two more planters around here, if you want to give it a try. Thanks for all your help, stranger. Well, now that our friends are free, we can shut down the outpost and restore the village. See you later, stranger. I'll come back anytime. is a gift and not to be tampered with. This is your last chance, Orvis. How do I get into the chamber? 
You are making a mistake. The clock is not a time machine. There is only one who will enter my chamber, and he is safe. Far from you. Where is he? Where did he go? Yeah, I don't know, sir. I'm pulling up a residual image from his database. We scanned it before he dissipated. Clank? Yo! Smart now, are you? You get it? Because he's a moron! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dr. Nefarious, you have such a wonderful sense of humor, and you're so, so. Salon. Let's see. Now, where did I put him? There's the air lock. There's the torture chamber. The day spa. Tell me what. Defeat me, and maybe I'll tell you. Lord Borsalon cannot be defeated. Ratchet, what are you doing? Relax. Rescue missions are kind of my thing. Now, how do I lower the containment? These cables must lead to some sort of power supply. Follow them and destroy the containment generators. I know, I know. It was touch and go there for a while. But the old Lombax instinct kicked in and... You uh... fool! I told you to leave me. You shouldn't have come back! Wow. That was not the reaction I was expecting. You know, General, it's not like I've been here just sitting around all day. I've traveled back in time, found out what happened to Orvis. Back in time? When? How far? Not far enough. It's just... We're the only ones who can fix the past. I'm proud of you, Ratchet. Come on. It's time to go. next on our temporal to-do list. Well, most of the planets are repaired. I ordered us a new quantum entanglement modulator, and time cleaners are eating away the residual facility rifts, so only one last thing to do. Test mnemonic station iota. Mnemonic station iota? Yep, as in iota test the mnemonic station. <laughs> hey, sorry, Orvis's sense of humor rubs off on you after the first thousand years. the old ticker a start. What do you do it all the way out here? These are my memory banks. Your memory banks? Oh, I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. I thought I was in that green fella's head, what with all the emptiness. Oh, well, no matter. <laughs> Aha! Here's the culprit. Now what could this thingamajig be doing cluttering your brain? That is Ratchet's Omni-Wrench. 
Ratchet. Mm. Oh, yeah, furry little fella. Don't think I've ever seen you without him. Ooh, you two ain't on the outs, are you? No, we are still friends, but I have new responsibilities. Moving on, huh? Well, we're all trying to find our own path in the universe. The hard part is taking those first steps. Come on, I'll give you a boost. Go ahead. If he's your friend, he'll understand. Are you coming? Plumbers don't just go diving down strange pipes all willy-nilly. That'd be ridiculous. No, this one you'll have to do alone. Oh, and by the way, I wouldn't risk any more than six minutes. No. who would abuse it. Control terminal activated. He loved you very much, you know. He was always XJ0461 this and XJ0461 that. I'm supposed to play this for you. It's sort of an orientation message. Hello, XJ0461. Or should I say... Plank? Here, in this very chamber, I watched over time. And now that you understand the power of the clock, I must ask that you protect it at all costs. For even the slightest misuse of its power can rip the very fabric of existence. The clock, much like time itself, is a gift and not to be tampered with. But like any father, my only wish is that my... I'm sorry. Were you in the middle of something? Intruders! Protect the chamber! I've got you now. Take this and this. And now, the Haymaker! Victory! In your face! Is it? You are correct, sir. Clank led us straight to the Orbis Chamber. Splendid! Notify the Valkyries! It's time for... Unnecessarily Evil Initiative Omega 91! Right away, sir. Ready for your massage, Dr. Nefarious? I didn't send for a massage. Go away! Would you cut me a break, pal? I mean, would you just open the door, please? Hey there! Ratchet, come in. I just picked up a looping transmission on one of the emergency frequencies. Tell me what you make of this. I don't believe it. That's a distress call with Clank's signature. Ophelion, can you track the source? The origin appears to be planet Ophelion. Acquiring coordinates now. Just think. By tonight, your friend will be safe and the clock will be ours. I'll be there as soon as I can. Bonjour, Monsieur Lombax. I see you picked up on our little signal. Unfortunately, this is as far as you go! Oh! No, this is impossible! Valkyries! Do not let him reach the Citadel! He cannot interfere with Nefarious' plans to... Ah! Ophelion, give me a status update on Clank's transmission. The coordinates appear to be accurate, but the signal has weakened by 72.3%. That means Clank's in trouble. Hold on, pal. I'm coming. Well, well, well. If it isn't the galaxy's favorite Lombaxes, come to rescue your little friend. Our quarrel isn't with you, Cassiopeia. Hand over Clank and we'll cause no more trouble. <laughs> cause no more trouble, huh? Karina and Libra are dead thanks to you. And now that we've gotten what we need from the caretaker, his time has come. Valkyries, destroy the Lombaxes! Poor thing. You've won.
wandered right into our Valkyrie training course. No man has ever survived! <laughs> Farewell, Ratchet. Take solace in the fact that you never stood a chance. Vile creature! You'll pay for that! Still alive? Well, let's see how you survive a silo of deadly nerve toxin. Wretched space rat! Vile creature, you'll pay for that! Oh, man. Hello, Ratchet. I see... Yeah, I know. Time for another death trap. I'm actually happy you survived the training course. It would have been a shame to lose such a worthy opponent to some cheap machine. Speaking of cheap machines, how much is your boyfriend paying you to do his dirty work? Talk. <laughs> And an amusing observation, coming from some orphan doomed to spend his entire life alone. <laughs> you know that robot of yours who's ready to kick up his little metal feet and stay in the Great Clock forever? Yeah, he wants to leave you, didn't you know that? Don't worry, I'll kill the both of you before he gets the chance! Clank! What have you done to him? Oh, nothing, compared to what I'm about to do to you. Hello, Ratchet. <sighs> hey, pal. How you doing? Fine. You? <sighs> yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just gonna lie here for a while, though, okay? Whew. I'm sorry about your father, Clank. I should have stopped Nefarious sooner. It is all right, Ratchet. Nefarious will pay for what he has done. The only thing that matters now is that we keep the clock safe. Now don't worry. Once the past has been corrected, you'll have the full support of the Lombax Praetorian Guard. <laughs> the clock will be in good hands. You do not understand. Time cannot be changed. Using the clock improperly could rip the very fabric of existence. Or it could save an entire race of Lombaxes who risked their lives to defend this galaxy. Ratchet, remember the Dimensionator. Some risks are not worth taking. Well, maybe Clank's right. If there's even a chance it could destroy the universe, the risk is just too great. Risk? Risk is what makes us who we are. Ratchet, our kind is lost without us. Think of how many that clock can save. Think of your parents. I'm sorry. We need to stop Nefarious before he makes the same mistake we almost did. So, you coming, General? General? I don't believe it. You got every piece. Son, when this thing is built, it'd be best if we didn't discuss the matter again. Galactic authorities would throw us both in Zordum just for looking at it. Now stand back. I present to you the Rhino-5, the most powerful weapon in the known universe. You be careful with this thing now. It packs a heck of a punch. Ratchet Space Rat, your path is far from over. For you see, the most horrifying truth is yet to be revealed. My dear Lombax, I am your father. Accountant, did that do it? Did that sufficiently blow your mind? Let that just roll around for a bit. Oh, now, come, find me in the Corvus Sector, and let us end what we began! Forcelon, out! Welcome back, Lombax! In anticipation.
Invasion of our path? I've taken the liberty of upgrading my suit. Prepare for terror unlike you have ever known! Is he always this dramatic? Yeah, it's kind of his shtick. All right, Vorsalon, let's end this once and for all. sitting on the sidelines while everyone else marches into certain death. Sit on the sidelines? And let this baby go to waste? It's one of those cool smoke bombs the spies use. You know, for making quick and fancy getaways. Oh, forget it. Here, it's my most ingenious foolproof plan yet. The Nefarious Space Station. An impenetrable fortress fraught with danger and... Uh, windows. Using my feminine wiles, I was able to convince the custodial staff to temporarily reroute the South Wing trash chute. This will be our point of entry. With the motion sensors deactivated, we should have smooth sailing into the South Wing. Harnessing eight years of high school theater workshops, I will remain undercover as the lovely Shannon. My objective will be to escort you here. Whoops. <laughs> That's a vacation picture from the Maktar Resort Single Mingle. Don't know how that got in there. I'll escort you here to a conveniently exposed thermal exhaust port. We will then endure rigorous calisthenics until we have lost enough body fat to squeeze through the port. Maybe I should handle this part of the mission. Uh, sure, that sounds quicker. Now, that port leads directly to Nefarious's personal quarters. Using the Gigamorphic Hull Array, you'll be able to scan him and create a holographic disguise for Ratchet. With the disguise engaged, we should be able to breeze past the guards and infiltrate Mission Control, where we'll use the main security terminal to atomize every dock ship in the fleet. With Nefarious trapped like a rat and the clock safe, we can contact galactic authorities so that I may bask in the awesome glow of their admiration. All right, I have to ask, what's with the nurse's outfit? Ingenious, isn't it? It's part of an elaborate deception plan. It mostly involves a lot of hip swinging and puppy dog eyes. Well, white's certainly your color. Oh, thanks. I always fancied myself a winter. The maintenance sector is crawling with Nefarious's goons. This might call for a little finesse. Watch and learn. Hello there. I'm Nurse Shannon. This is Dr. Archibald von Fuzzy Pants and his robotic intern, Gundolf Metal Sprocket. Dr. Nefarious is expecting us. You are not authorized. Prepare to die, Nurse Shannon. Computer, take dictation. Go ahead, Doctor. Things to do once the clock is under my control. Number one, double-cross remaining Valkyries and retire Lord Vorsala. Number two, re-establish vendetta against organic life forms. And number three, Iron Sons. Hollow Guys complete. I'm returning to the rendezvous point. Huh. Must have forgot to tune the autoscaler. Ah, well, close enough. Try your vocal modulator. Test. Test. One, two. It works. Now, let's finish this and go home. Dr. Nefarious, you didn't have to come all the way over here. The Hypernova Defense Laser is quite capable of clearing the debris. Say, would you like to test it out? The controls are yours, sir. I feel very close to you right now. Come on, we 
gotta keep moving. You're not Dr. Nefarious! <laughs> Nefarious, you can't use the clock. Nothing you could want is worth risking the universe. Oh, but there is. And I have you three to thank for it. Initiate Super Wavy Flashback Effect! <laughs> Thanks to you and your dim-witted friend here, I found myself drifting through the cosmos. Have you ever spent time on an asteroid? It's surprisingly boring! Nothing for a villain to do but dwell on his failure! Then, one day, the fungoid saved us. But still, failure burned inside my circuitry! How could I have been defeated by the likes of you? Why had the universe been tipped in your favor? I embarked on a crusade to the inner recesses of what you call the soul. I studied fungoid meditation, attended anger management class, dabbled in yoga, attended more anger management class, until finally I went on a spirit walk on planet Quantos. It was here I finally found what I had been missing! The Great Clock! With the clock under my control, I'll be able to wrong all the rights in the universe. Every villain who has ever stumbled will get a do-over. Every protagonist's triumph will be reversed! Until finally, a new present is created, in which the heroes always lose! Hang on, cadets! Well, that was five bolts wasted. How do you like my Asteroid Finger 5000? I had it installed in the event I ever needed a super ironic death scenario! Nefarious, you're making a mistake! Time will tell. Bon voyage, my old nemesis! <laughs> A lonely man, Lance, boarding a lonely train on its way to Lonely Town. So help me, it's true. All aboard to Lonely Town. Choo choo, Janice. Choo choo. <laughs> It appears the Sony protected us during the crash. We must not reach the clock. Thanks for the help, guys. What? I'll give them back. Praise Orvis! I have visitors! Have you come to hear about the historic battle of Gimlik Valley? Actually, we're trying to stop an evil mastermind from... Splendid! It all started years ago, when I was just a child. <laughs> Chief Zon Gribnak was manning his post at the Arundai outpost, when suddenly... <laughs> Desperate to protect our village, Gribnak led a team of undertrained, poorly equipped soldiers into battle. <laughs> Sadly, victory would not be theirs. <laughs> Chief Gribnock and his noble lot were captured, imprisoned, briefly pardoned, imprisoned again, and killed. The death of Zahn left us defenseless. Without him, Commander Argos laid waste to our village by destroying the Arundai floodgate. It was a crushing defeat. Oh, if only Zahn had been here to defend us against Argos! I guess you can't change the past. Huh. Ratchet, I believe I may have a way to help the Fongoids and give us a ride. Head to that time rift. 
Sigmund, come in. I need you to stabilize a time portal into the Battle of Gimlet Valley. Accessing Brigus Almanac now, sir. Got it. Stabilizing time rift in three, two, one. Attention, miserable creatures. This is Commander Argos. Pursuant to Article 17 of the Agorian Code of Interstellar Acquisition, this sector now belongs to me. Leave now, or face execution by firing squad. Yurik, what are you doing out of the shelter? Your mother will be very disappointed. But this Lombax is here to help us. I'm Ratchet. This is Clank. I'm Zon. This is Tufer and Enot. Yurik, go take shelter with the others. We'll protect the floodgate! Attention, fine boys! This is Commander Argos! My offer to spare your lives in exchange for this valley has expired! Stand by for execution! <laughs> what were the chances that would happen? You do not want to know. Come on, let's get back to the present. Oh, that's rich. One Lombax against a Class 3 Agorian space cruiser. You should have left the galaxy with the rest of your kind. The Fun Guards will remember this day forever. We owe the both of you our gratitude. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, we'd love to use that ship. Well, it might take some time to fetch it out of the creek, but when we do, it's all yours. Now, if you'll excuse us, we must tend to the other villagers. doesn't start until tonight. Reenactment? Well, sure! Eh, of the historic Battle of Gimlik Valley. It was a shining victory in Fangoid history. <laughs> Say, do I know you two? You look awfully familiar. Uh, nope. First time here. And our second. <laughs> we were just admiring your Agorian space cruiser. She's perfectly restored. I was going to take her up for the show, but her batteries are dead. <laughs> I believe we may be of assistance. If we were to bring back a few battery bots, would you allow us to borrow your ship? Well, I suppose that'd be okay. So long as I got it back in time for the show. <laughs> okay, altimeter, thruster, warp drive. Perhaps we should read the instruction manual. See? Nothing to it. And now the booster. That is the radio. <laughs> Hold on, I'll just. No, no. Uh, that knob wasn't supposed to pop off, was it? Why do I even bother? That's far enough, nefarious. Step away from the transport. You? How is this possible? You should be dead. On behalf of Galactic Authorities, we hereby charge you with willful disruption of the space-time continuum. Shut down the transport and surrender quietly. Look at you. Free for the first time in years, inches from your destiny, and what do you do? Run right back to playing backpack to a squishy. You're nothing but a pathetic sidekick. We should hang out sometime. That's it. No one talks to Clank that way. When this is over, I'll back whatever decision you make. But first, how about one final hurrah so we can kick this guy's butt? When I'm finished killing you, I think I'll rewind time. So I can do it again, and again, and again! <laughs> now 
I've been waiting a long time for this. Lawrence, fall back to the outer perimeter. Let no damage befall our ship. Falling back, sir. Happy fighting. Before he takes that escape pod. Twenty seconds until impact. Clank, it's been one heck of a ride. Watch it! Come on! You're gonna have to jump. Ten seconds until impact. So, I can't talk you out of this, can I? Ratchet, we have been on many adventures, but the clock needs someone to protect it. It is what I was built for. Wait, so that's it? What about the Lombaxes? They're not in danger, they've just moved on. And we'll find them. But the past stays where it is. Come on, pal. I'll walk you in. You were never a sidekick. You do know that, right? I always thought that you were the sidekick. <laughs> Where are you going? This is your responsibility. You can't just walk away. The Lombaxes need us! Don't walk away from me! I said stop! Six minutes. Just gonna kill me? 
kill you now, save you in the past. He did a brave thing, Ratchet. You should be proud of him. Well, looks like there's just one more thing to fix. Timekeeper restored. I'll leave you two alone. Take care of yourself, pal. I cannot stay. I am sorry, but discovering my family has made me realize that I cannot leave Ratchet. Not until he finds his own. I hope you understand. You're leaving? Energy output normal. Harmonic stabilizers stable. Why aren't I freaking out? Perhaps you are ready to be promoted. Senior? Caretaker? Yippee! Thank you, sir. Take care, Sigmund. The clock, much like time itself, is a gift, and not to be tampered with. But like any father, my only wish is that my son does that which makes him feel whole. You are an intelligent and logical being, Clank. But intelligence and logic would have been wasted gifts without honor and loyalty. I am proud to see you came into those on your own. So, should the clock be too small for your plans, I pray the cosmos light the way towards a future you yourself design. And remember, the universe has a wonderful sense of humor. The trick is learning how to take a joke. <laughs> Hello! Celebrity in need of assistance! What's that, Snowball? Little Jimmy fell down a well? Oh, you're hungry for blood. Oh, I was way off. Let me just... Oh, boy, this is bad. Uh, little help here. Ratchet! Clank! Helga! Anyone? Nice Snowball. Nice oh, Snowball. Down, Snowball! Hey, hey, hey! Easy on the goods! 